Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Seems good. Let's continue with Terraria. Wherein we need to get back on the high, high horse. Get back on the horse and murder Duke Fishron. Um, I probably have a couple of potions I need to farm. I've got damage. Not that many. I've got damage, damage reduction, more health, regen, iron skin. Heart reach doesn't do that much, but it's... We get more than we need very easily. Light movement, grav. Hunter and flipper. Is that about everything? Is that about everything? Who knows? Dilka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I think I ran out. No, we've got a few truffle worms left. Okay, warm up. Kill Duke Fish Run. Let's go. That makes sense, right? We seem to be missing some water at the ocean again. Um, how about how about we fix it? If we can. More bedragon. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Combine's getting thirsty lately. Oh, the worthy, indeed. Um, I thought I was about to kill Duke Fishron last time. Uh, I got the fight down pat again. It's not that different, not that hard. But then, in the last phase, where what I normally do is just parry all of his attacks, uh, it had happened before, but this time I was sure of it, and someone clipped it, I watched the replay in slow motion. It is possible to parry one of Duke's charges and still get hit by him in that final phase in For the Worthy. Um, but maybe it happens in... I, I don't know if it's For the Worthy or if the only difference is in For the Worthy he'll one-shot you. Uh, but suffice to say, if we use the Shield of Cthulhu to boop his snoot when he charges, we're going to get hit by the very back of him as he continues forward. Doing fish run again. Good. I just finished my first playthrough. Nice, nice. Okay. Oh, this thing is tougher than I remembered. Well, I am equipped with kind of ranger gear. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. De Hoss, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um Yeah, I guess no more procrastinating. Unfortunately, I, as usual, I haven't got around to, like, practicing off-stream or that sort of thing that I often talk about. Whoopsie-daisy. We'll just have to go with the flow, I guess. I did, after messing around in Journey, I did say after some practice it might be easier in some ways, to fight him without doing the graph potions and the big circles. Um, but it was still, it was harder than I expected. Easy to run out of space. I think there's an indefinite flight equip as well. Uh, what do you mean? One that we could have by now? Uh, there's the... What's it called? Empress of Light. 
drops uh, the flight insignia, whatever it's called. Soaring insignia. Uh, she's harder. You're, you're gonna want Duke Fishron's gear before you fight her. She is, um... She's nasty. Alright. Alright. Let... Wait, wait, wait. Ammo. Ammo. I've only got 1300 cursed bullets. I should probably get some more. We don't have to use cursed bullets, but they're pretty good. High velocity bullets aren't too bad either, but... No, I definitely want the cursed bullets. Especially for the end phase, when he's on so little health but we don't get the opportunity to hit him that much. I want the damage over time. Alright, let's go to the underworld. Uh, not quite there. Thank you. We'll do some cheap survival items. And, well, Hunter's potion isn't that cheap, but this will do. I don't want to be killed by a sneaky worm or something. I'd forgotten just how effective the uh, spiders are against the chaos. Uh oh. That's what we're looking for. Give me those cursed flames. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I love not really having to aim with the Toxic Up. Very easy to use weapon. Should probably be using... Oh, you know what? I should have brought golden bullets or high velocity bullets to use while I'm down here. It's not too late. I guess I could use... You know what? We don't even have to pay a potion of return. Even those high V bullets. That's a party bullet. It's not really that good. I could have sworn I had high velocity bullets in here somewhere. High velocity. There they are. Okay. And quick step. Oh. So now if we need to hit something distant, it's going to be very easy. I mean, we could do that with the, with the laser rifle as well, but it's not its damage isn't quite as good. Especially while we're not equipped as mage. Fantastic. How much have we got? Only three so far? Oh, I quick stacked whatever I picked up before. There's our prize over there. That was sneaky. How dare you. Yoink.
Getting plenty of souls. That's good. Come to think of it, um, did I get everything I want from Crimson Mimics? Because I can make Crimson Mimics on the surface where it's pretty safe to fight them. I say safe, that's not quite right. It's it's easier to avoid the one-hit kill from them. It's a lot easier to avoid the one-hit kill from them. Well, just wanted to stop by. I'm going to crash for the night. Alright, take care, Morbid. Thanks for hanging out. flame. They're not spawning much right now. Ow, I didn't think that was a ranged skeleton. Here we go. have we got? 19 Cursed Flame. That's actually a pretty good haul. Let's get a little bit more. Five? Damn. The RNG on the Cursed Flame drops is a bit much. Oh, hello. Hey, it's Bonesy. What do you got? Um, nothing I particularly need to grab. I could sell some stuff to him. Don't really want to sell much either. What's in the void bag? Ooh. We got marrow. Deadly marrow. It's actually really good. Look at how fast it is. It's like a sniper rifle without the massive cooldown, almost. Ow. Yeah, this is a job for Toxicarp, though. Didn't even see that bad as well. Stop spawning in the water, you're a bat. be honest, I didn't expect a bat to one-shot me from full health. I, I I probably wouldn't have teleported right next to it uh, if I'd known that a bat could kill me in one hit. That's, um, and that's in frost armor as well. This is not 
This is not weak armor for this stage of the game. Not by a long shot. Not Steel Mage. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good morning. Well, um... You know what? I may as well grab whatever I dropped there. And make some cursed bullets. Oh, we have plenty. I'm probably going to have to buy more uh, musket balls. That's a torch. We don't want to make cursed torches right now. Casual 7,000 cursed bullets. Fantastic. Grab another 10k. What? Oh, did I use up all my first flame? Yeah, I just happen to have almost no musket balls left. Just remembered torch luck, indeed. Um, we've actually got a lot of souls. Is there anything I want from Crimson Mimics? I don't know the Crimson stuff that well. I don't have it in the bestiary by now, surely. Don't know if it would even... I, I, I'd have to kill more of them before it tells me... What it might drop, I think. Uh, Coom Consumer? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We do Apparently we haven't even killed enough Mimics to, uh, to have proper stats on them. What have we killed enough of? Can, can I scroll? What? I don't have any filters on. Oh, okay. Demon Eye. Yeah, it does tell you what they can drop. I don't know how many you need. Maybe 50? Alright. Alright, we've got 7k bullets and no more excuses, I guess. Let's try fish run again. So the difference in my strategy... Um... If I'd had time to practice it, I might change the way I do the first phase, so that instead of using grab potions and going in a giant loop... Why does this keep happening? No, why... Why is the water misbehaving? As if... As if the pump is getting activated. I can't be randomly falling through the water when I fight Duke Fishrun. Was it? It's not like the water wasn't being simulated while I'm not here, right? No, well, it seems to be okay now. Um, but anyway, so that basically the difference in my strategy is just going to be. Once he reaches his final phase, we need to activate Grav Potion at the start of his 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 charges. And then flip it at the end of the triple charge. So that we've got a safe moment to flip gravity, um, because changing directions is often the most dangerous part. Um, and we've tested it. We won't run out of space. Like, we, we won't go to space by doing that. When he goes one attack, two attacks, three attacks. Uh, it probably won't even go this high. 
So by falling while he's trying to do his charge attacks, we should be able to avoid them pretty easily, actually. We hope. Anyway, time to try to put it into practice. Uh, hopefully I do get to the final phase. Since for the moment I'm going to be a bit rusty. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? Where's my... Where's my Mega Shark? Why is it in here? Well, whatever the case, we still have it. Up we go. And down we go. And up we go. And try and drag him as far away from... Oh, that was too slow. There we go. As far away from that tornado as possible, so we can hopefully avoid even having to bother with it. Yikes, I didn't see that coming. There we go. There's that tornado missing us. Oh! Um... I noticed the non-ocean biome, and it distracted me for a second. And he was still going. Maybe he got enraged there, because I didn't expect that charge. 600-something damage. Where did I die? Yeah, it's... Possible we left the ocean biome. Normally I'm too careful about that and I don't use as much space as I've actually got available. Um, that's not how it went this time. Just a warm up? Yeah, that one does, doesn't count. I mean, it definitely counts towards our potion count, but you know. I could have sworn. Oh, it was probably because it was... He probably did extra damage because we weren't in the ocean. I was going to say, I could have sworn I've at least survived an attack by him, uh, even if there's some RNG involved with 480 hit points. Yikes. I think that's going to be a tornado. Yep. That's good. Good spacing. That's not what I meant to do, but that's actually totally okay, because I have a flipper potion. Let's go over his head. Don't go too far up. That was maybe a bad idea. Uh, that tornado is just disappearing now, so we're fine. Uh, I don't want to deal with these sharks. Why am I so low on health? When did I get hit? What? Oh, that's not what I want. Oh, I meant to do that. I meant to do that. I meant to. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Where is he? Forty percent of the way through. 
We need to get him down to almost nothing before he enters the final phase. Although it won't feel like almost nothing when we're trying to get that last bit of health off of him. That's not what I want to see. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. 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 That was sort of good timing for the grab to run out, which I wasn't paying attention to. Where is he? I didn't want to die because I'd lost count of his charges there, so I did an extra dash. It's actually kind of a good place, kind of, for the tornado to end up. Okay, that that's not working out the way I had in mind. Okay. The, sh the movement pattern, uh, the way that shark was falling towards us, I thought I'd be able to easily find a gap to squeeze through them. Why did... That is something I've never figured out. Um, those homing bubbles that turn into the tornadoes. 99.9% uh, .9 of the time, they cannot catch you, they cannot deal damage to you, no matter how close they get. Sometimes they just explode on your face and deal massive damage. Like, that could have been another one, and I would have just... it would have just been over. Um, I have no idea why. So it looks like if the bubble explodes, um, maybe if it's because there's land underneath you, the tornado ends up on the ground no matter what? Because that was just instantly... the tornado appeared on the ground even though the bubble was well above me. Oh, it's happening at the ocean. than I anticipated. So was that. I should remember that I can kill those sharks. They don't have that many hit points. Is he getting faster? He might be. I should assume he is. Oh, this is the final phase. One, two. One, two, three. One. One, two. One, two, three. One. One, two. One, two. Three, one, one, two, one, two, three. Oh my god! What? What the actual fuck? So that attack came out a lot earlier than it was supposed to. Duke fish run out of nowhere with a steel chair. Yeah, I th I can only imagine that because I hit space, which happened a lot earlier than I was expecting, like the moment I hit space, he just gets a very... He gets an instant free attack, I, I suppose. I, I don't know. The sick sock. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm a little mad. Um, because that was going really well. 
the um it's obviously a small sample size but it does the theory does seem to bear out that if we're falling um the shield of cthulhu dashes are at the very least much more likely to succeed in protecting us from his hit That's rough. That was so close. Doesn't he enrage if you leave the ocean biome? Not if you're above the ocean biome. It still counts as the ocean. Um, I don't know if touching space counts as leaving the ocean biome. We shouldn't. Uh, we shouldn't want to go that high anyway. Like that was a mistake. Um, the way everything changes color, it's a lot harder to know where we are as well. Um, suffice to say, I wouldn't have gone that high by choice. I should probably get some more potions before I do that again. Grav potion. I could use a little break from it anyway. I don't want to do what I did last time and... Uh, keep doing Duke back-to-back -back so much that I actually start feeling mental fatigue and my hand getting sore. Uh, where's my graph potion? Why can't I make a graph potion? Oh, we need feathers. Okay, then. And, of course, we're probably going to get a wyvern instead. I do have the high-velocity bullets ready for him. Did I just shoot down a feather? No, it was just duration. I think it disappeared. Okay, that was weird. I could have sworn I saw a feather disappear in front of my face, but... Uh, there's no way it should have done that so quickly. Give me your soul. Yeah, high velocity bullets and mega shark doesn't get much easier to hit these things. I mean, we can use the homing missiles; they're just a bit slower. No. Oh. Actually, it's not that hard to fight him here. At least not with these weapons, since we can delete any wyverns that try to interfere. And we have the up to three hits on him with the piercing from the uh, from the high V bullets. actually. More feathers. Oh, I do have a water candle here. That's probably why. And it's night time. Okay, okay, okay. No, let's not waste all of our health trying to get back up. It's 
that's easy when you've got good mood. How dare you? Uh, Frickin' mummy appears out of nowhere and I dodge into it and bounce off it into the wyvern. And then a blood jelly that shouldn't have been able to spawn there just appears in my face. Whatever, we got some feathers. Only 11, actually. Where, where am I grabbed? There we go. I wish they'd put all the similar colored potions together in the craft menu. Meat unit? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm pretty sure I already have a harpy banner over there, but let's double check. Yeah, we do. Okay. Could you... could you stop? Sir, this is a fishing spot. See if I can't find the souls, or rather the gold that I dropped. It's over here. Oh, and the souls. We did kill that one wyvern. I do need some some dark mummies at some point. Dark shirt number one. I forget the specifics, but we probably only need a few. Like for the entire playthrough. You can't even hit them at range sometimes? Ooh, blood jellies. Maybe I should put a peace candle down here just because this is where I always fall down to if a wyvern forces me. Oh, I wasn't looking. Do I have a peace candle handy? Yeah, I do. Peace. I think I'll just give up on picking up dark shards right now. Dark shard can probably go in here somewhere. Is there anywhere else I'd want a harpy banner? I mean, I could just start attaching them to all of the... All of the floating islands. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Mummy pants are worthless. Oh, no they're not. I'm pretty sure they used to give zero... zero monies. And you ended up with a lot of them. Alright. Uh, it's not even that many grav potions. Oh, we didn't make them all yet. Oh, wow, that was lucky. Uh, that was quite a few more than I was expecting. Okay. Uh, I want more wrath and rage potions. 
Let's start with the easy one. fish. Actually, let's use a fishing potion. Since we're here. Oh. Probably help if we weren't using truffle worms. I think Hemoprana are... Oh, we got Armored Capefish as well. I think Hemoprana are the ones we're looking for, so that's pretty lucky so far. They're probably the rarest... Yeah, it's Crimson Tigerfish that give us the heart, heart reach potions. Much more common. So that's good. We've got at least three more uh, uh, rage potions already. Oh yeah, I remember this. Got it last time. Got a few crates while we're at it, I guess. Could we use a bit more... Um, water in here, perhaps? No, it would say bracket negative something if we weren't already getting the maximum out of the size of the fishing spot. Oh, it is. Negative 3%. That's like... That's a very small adjustment. Where's my water bucket, though? I think I know where it is. Yep, it got quick stacked in here again. Alright, let's try that. Vexon Navy issue. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Woohoo, caught the Terraria stream. Fantastic. Uh, actually, I, I think if I just get rid of this overhang, that should put it pushes up to 300 tiles of water easily. I wonder what's dying over here. It's probably a... I don't think it would be a mimic, because we have to get close to make it move unless we have, like, half tiles or conveyors or something off stream. So it's probably a possessed armor walking through lava. What are you doing now, next boss? Yeah, we're still trying to kill Duke Fishrun, who is uh, a bit tougher. I mean, he's mostly just the same boss, but he can one-shot you, um, especially in his final phase. And if we're not falling through the sky and we parry his attack in his final phase, it might still hit us depending on the angle. So that's fun, when, when that little, I, 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 I guess I'd call it pseudo-random, unless you have incredibly good timing. Uh, when that little pseudo-random outcome kills you in one hit. 
We've gotten to his final phase a number of times now. Um, it's not... Like, the first phase is honestly pretty much just exactly the same, but... But you can afford to get hit even less. The final phase is basically the same, except you can afford to get hit not at all. Um, and... I don't think... I could be wrong. But I don't remember carrying his attack but still getting hit before doing it on For the Worthy. Maybe it did happen and I just didn't remember because, like, it didn't kill me in one hit and I just thought maybe I made a mistake. After all that, we've still only got seven Hemoprana when we got, like, four almost immediately. Terraria, Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oops. Let's go for one more and then we'll use the rest of this fishing potion to go after um, either these two or some Ebon Koi, some Wrath Potions. Oh, we got 10 now. When did that happen? 11. Fantastic. Okay. So I, I can't move the map around while I'm teleporting. That's surprising. Um, I could go down here for some more... Um, some more armored cave fish. And because I can't really remember where I made my less unsafe uh, corruption fishing spot, I think I'd rather go here to get the most out of this potion. Doing okay? Duggo is sick. Oh no. Just put him in doggy jail for the night. Okie dokie. I hope he'll feel better. My friend's dog has uh, one of those... What do you call them? You know, the neck... Uh, the neck tube. Like, triangle-ish neck tube around his head for another week. Cone of shame, <laughs> indeed. They are not happy when they first get those. And then he's gonna think it's never coming off and get used to it, and then it's gonna be gone. He has an upset tummy, so I either need to watch him like a hawk or put him in jail. Yeah. Uh, I want to put this back. Oh, golden cup. I'll put this back in here so it doesn't get quick stacked. Maybe not the best use of my last 12 seconds of fishing potion, actually. Alright, how many armored cape? I was gonna say we got two, but that's not quite right. We got six. It's a start. Alright, so we now have a whopping nine armored cave fish. Uh where is Do I have no blink root or something? I have no blink root. Okay then. Let me just put... Oh good, it's turning into a graveyard. Uh... That's how you know you've been working hard to kill Duke Fish from. <laughs> when it becomes a graveyard. And that's just, like, one part of this biome. Although, it does make sense that most of the deaths are over to the left, I think. 
because that's where I'd be fighting his final phase. Uh, anyway. Buy this crap off me. He's all good now. Hope yours gets better soon too. The Duke fight has been going well then. It's... It's a whole lot of fun. It's basically the same fight, but... Uh, but he can one-hit kill you in places. And the final phase, which normally, with the way I've practiced it, would be easy. Uh, he'll randomly, randomly, like pseudo-randomly, depending on the spacing and timing. Uh, One-hit kill us, even if we Cthulhu dash and parry his attack. Alright, let's get some Blink Root. So basically, if we're not constantly falling, um, so as to change the, you know, the, the space timing of it, um, if we dash into him when he does his dash attack, depending on the spacing and the timing, if we run right into the front of him, like Boop is Snoop, um, we may end up still uh, touching his hitbox as he dashes through us, uh, just at the very back of him. Which is cool and great. Love it. So, what I tried to incorporate into it last time... Which is a bit easier said than done, especially because you're going to be off balance when that part starts. But if I can swap gravity at the start and end of his 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 dash attacks, uh, we should be able to be falling whenever he's, um, whenever he's attacking that way. Which seems to make using dash as a parry safe. Uh, not to mention it makes it easier to avoid getting touched by him at all. But last time, because uh, it's very easy to get disoriented um, when the whole world goes blue, um, basically I ended up going to space by accident, and the very nanosecond that I hit space and started to fall back down, uh, he did, like, an early dash attack from outside of the map that killed me in one hit. Boop is Snoot, indeed. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, don't boop the Snoot in For the Worthy Master. <laughs> um, it will probably not go well for you. Um... Hunter Potion? I've actually still got like 14 shark fins. What did I run out of? Blink Root? I mean, no, uh, the other one. The first ingredient in the game. Daybloom. Yeah, this, uh, this little, this little fish that I drew last time to illustrate it. So, in the final phase, I dashed into him and parried his attack uh, and still died uh, last week because, like, if I dash and he dashes and I hit him, like, here, whoops, like here, then we're not going to be touching him uh, when he f continues. Uh, but if I dash into him and hit, like, here... I get bounced back this way, and he keeps charging, uh, and then basically I'm... I found myself about here, which was still in his hitbox, uh, when the dash in vulnerability frames ended. So, that's cool. Where did my hunter potions just go? Here we go. Um, what time is it? 11.42. I probably have a million Daybloom seeds. Yeah, I do. 
but I don't think I can use... Shameful. Yeah, I can't use the Staff of Regrowth to harvest these and get extra day bloom while they're not blooming, unfortunately. Can I do it like this? You have my prime sub if you win, no pressure. Okay. Just a just a little piece of trying to make this my job one day. No pressure. That is a danger bunny. Gotta watch out for those around your base. In For the Worthy, they will kill you in one hit uh, when your minions go to attack something else. They won't actually attack you, but they will explode. And you know what? Let's, um, let's just place a bunch of random day bloom, which we'll pick up by accident sooner or later. No, don't kill my day bloom. I've only got 260 seeds left. Oh my goodness. Uh, that was, that was a little bit mean. I should probably put some... No, d uh, auto... Placement, you're the worst. Those are mood light. Those are mood lighting moon glow. Don't replace them with day bloom seeds. I wish Moonglow was a real thing. I wish we had bioluminescent plants that we could cultivate this easily. I don't think I'd ever try to write a fantasy setting, but if I did, I'd definitely rip off Moonglow. Still got 159 seeds here. Maybe, maybe this is enough already? Quite possibly. I think plants glow, but we can't see ultraviolet, so we miss out. Rude plants, keeping it all to themselves. All right, so now we have the everything ingredient, Daybloom. And we can finally make whatever I was about to make. Wrath and Rage Potions, or rather Rage Potions. What was, what was I trying to make when I ran out of Daybloom? Oh, I think it was actually like Hunter's Potions. We're pretty low on shark fins, though, so I'll leave that. Heart reach? Why can't I make heart reach? Because I don't have fishies. Heart reach potion. They're very cheap. May as well. Uh, flipper potion. What do I need for flippers? Something I don't normally. Oh no, it's easy. Water leaf and 
Shiverthorn. Although I don't have any more Shiverthorn right now. Let's fix that. Wow. I haven't harvested these in forever and half of them still haven't bloomed. Okay. Let's plant some more. Just everywhere. There we go. What do we get? 32 Shiverthorn? I don't think the need for them is that common. I don't recall ever needing a really big farm of Shiverthorn. Uh, what was I making? Flipper potions. Do you think that'll be enough? I think plants glow, but yes, yes, yes. Um, let's put this away again. And sort out this mess. Actually, quick stack that. Oh, I can't quick stack it. Should go open some crates. Do I have any luck potions? I do. Let me just sell this rockfish. Yar. next to or on the same screen as a gnome. Oh, the luck potion. That wasn't that great. We did get cursed flame though. Rotted fork, healing potions, not that exciting. We do get some ore and stuff though. And we now have... Uh, we're back to 6,000 Cursed Bullets. Fantastic. Let's just chuck these in the collection. And then... Then and then and then... We need some Wrath Potions. Uh, where is... here it is. My Artificial Corruption Biome. Surely we could make a safer spot for fishing though. For the Corruption. Probably underground, but not deep enough underground that it causes it to be counted as corruption by that, like underground corruption, where we get the um, the long long boys with their projectiles and stuff, and crimson mimics. Oh, the oh the underground jungle's getting messed up. Uh. I hope that's not going to spread too far. Oh, gross. That's our old Queen Bee arena. Well, it would be a colossal task to try and artificially save parts of it. I don't know, let's just... Let's just fish in the spot that we already made. Already some of these have bloomed. It's really weird the way flowers bloom in Terraria and trees grow. 
literally just a random amount of time. So if you plant a lot of them, some of them are going to explode into existence immediately. And some are going to take basically forever. And there's no... There's no smoothing out of the RNG in this game. Like, uh... In Subnautica, there's a system called Buckets, whereby the simplest example is if you break a, what is it called, sandstone thingamajig, you either get titanium or copper, I think. Uh, and instead of just, like, flipping between the two, it'll do a dice roll, but then... Once you've got X titanium, uh, the maximum amount for the bucket, uh, it'll only give you whatever's left in the bucket. So the, the basic bucket is one titanium, one copper. Uh, break one of these, you get titanium, the next one's going to be copper, or vice versa. And then it resets. Uh, later on you get some... Some much larger buckets, but you can count on getting an exact ratio of resources if with a large enough sample size. I think that's a really good way to do it. Alright, let's try some fishing. See if we can get away with it. Purple clubber fish means we are getting uh, eruption fishing. I'm thinking. I was thinking about this last time. I think I will do it. I'm going to spread the corruption a bit further to the right here, so that we stop getting um, pixies flying over while we're trying to fish. Um, that's where we go. Up to the steampunker. Wait, no, don't buy. I've already got it up here. Contaminator, 21 ammo is probably enough. And I'm just going to turn this into regular forest, so the corruption will spread to the right. And immediately we won't have to deal with pixies flying over to our little relatively safe fishing spot. Almost all the enemies, or quite a decent number of them, are going to just fall down here. Looks like the blue slime can't get here. That's good, that's one enemy that is going to reduce the count of any others that spawn. Haven't had a single Ebon Koi so far, I don't think. Alright, I guess let's crank up our fishing power. That's an Ebon Koi. And should I go for crates? Why not? We can get a few extra crates. I'm watching nervously for a projectile here. Pretty good way to farm the basic corruption stuff as well. Do -be -do -do. Oh, I don't know if we have vitamins yet. Nice. Uh, rip slime. Hmm. 
Maybe I should stop pulling in the purple clubberfish. They are worth a couple of gold. I should bring a sentry when I'm going to fish here as well. The spider sentry is not too bad. Alright, how many ebon koi do we have? Oh wow, the uh... Ouch, ouch, ouch. The uh, spider's just running. Oops, 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 oops. Um. How do. I... Oh, hello, gold squirrel. Um. How do I clean this up? I think I've got a bottomless sponge in here somewhere. I don't have the regular sponge yet. Oh, it's just kind of... I was about to try and use the nav set to look over here. It just kind of flowed over this way. That was not what I was expecting. Give me that honey back. Nope. Uh, I guess I guess some of it's gone now. Okay. It's a quick stack. And this must be in the void bag. Oh, there's a lot in the void bag. Let's shove the crates in here, because that's where I'll remember them. We only used like three green solution for that. Surprisingly enough. I should definitely put the Corrupted Banner down... Um, ...at that fishing spot. Wait, <sighs> that whole time we fished up one Ebon Koi? Really? Okay. Pretty sure Golden Carp can't be made into anything. It's just for selling. But the Golden Squirrel we can make... Uh, the best food. Golden Delight, 48 minutes of major improvements to stats. Good for spelunking and stuff. I don't want to throw it away on a boss fight, even though... <sighs> even though seafood dinner only gives us medium improvements to stats these days. Oh, was that truffle wine? Okay, um, I need some more honey, just in case. You know what? I think I'll move this bottomless lava bucket and um, water bucket, the spare one, over to somewhere where I'm not going to accidentally quick stack it all the time. Sell the cup for 12 gold, 65 silver. Not bad. Purple club of fish for. 1 gold 26 each. We got some titanium. Um, 
Oh yeah, the vitamins. Did we actually have none of those before? Oh, let's try and quick stack. I don't think we do have vitamins. What do they combine with? Uh, armor polish. I'm not sure if we've got armor polish either. Yeah, I don't think we do have armor polish yet. And where did I put... Nazar should probably go in here as well. All of these things. Okay. Tsunami in a bottle combines with one of these. We get a little bit more money that way. this? Titanium, I think. Yeah, Adamite is our primary for this world, so we won't be doing much with that. Nevertheless, I'll make a bar so we can quick stack that. And bait probably goes over here. Palladium ore, I think I used it all to sell. And that just leaves. I guess I'll just toss a spare radar in here. Crispy honey block. I believe that is for making fishing potions. Or was it... yeah, fishing potion. Not that we ever need to make fishing potions, we can just spend two seconds doing a fishing quest, um, and we'll get given some. Once you've got decent fishing power, that is. Alright, inventory all sorted. Let's go put a Corrupter banner in that place with the Corruptors. Oh, this is light. Where am I going to hang it? There we go. And... Let's get some more Ebon Koi. Uh, spiders? I need your help. thing I forgot. You know what? Maybe I'll just put it in a chest here. Grab the sentry that I almost never use. Not a good shot under certain circumstances, but it'll at least alert us. Yeah, it's kind of getting the job done. Yay, our second Ebon Koi since we started fishing here today. Oh, that's... that's not something to deal with in fishing gear. Oh, it died? Nice. Hey, we got the corruption key! We have to kill Plantera before we can use it. 
And I guess by the time you can get the item in that chest, it's not very exciting, actually. But still, pretty unlikely. Ebon Chloe number three. I need an Eater of Souls banner for this place. Ebon Chloe number four. I wonder if they come out at night more or something. riskier than it needed to be. Let's let's kill them ourselves. Kill the skies. Hey, is there any mod in this? Uh, yeah. Or do you mean, does Terraria have mods, or am I running mods? Terraria does have mods. I'm not running any right now. Game to relax. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. I hope you're doing well. How is there an... Oh, no, I just picked up that Evan Coy from fishing. That was actually number five. Or number six since we started today, because I stacked one back at home. Maybe fishing potion? Let's clear the enemies first before I mess around with my inventory. It's number th Toxic up number three. I've got an unreal one already though. Actually, one of my favorite weapons, if you hadn't noticed. Do, 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 do. We've still only got five toxic car. I, I remember these being uh, Evan Koi rather. I remember these being pretty easy to fish up. Actually, I don't know what's. Wow, that that w I was not expecting a Leviathan in the water. Um, I didn't know we were playing Subnautica right now. That was spooky. Did we get to 10 Ebon Koi? That'd be nice. Oh. Sorry, young man, I didn't see you there. love to have a more reliable sentry. Maybe I should do a little bit of... Uh, what do you call it? The Eternia Crystal. Now we're 
Crux Pearl. Fantastic. We've still got six minutes on this fishing potion, though. How did I just get a Crimson Tiger fish? What? So if I stand down here, it's somewhere, it's crimson? That was weird. I guess that block of... Yeah, crimtain. Oh, crimson ore. Well, not ore, it's the stone. Crimson stone, whatever it's called. There's enough to change the biome. I was going to finish by about now with the fishing, but suddenly we're getting way more ebb and koi, so I want to make the most of this fishing potion. Regular sized corruptors look so small now. Well, actually, I think those are smaller than normal ones. Trying to go grab that loot just brought more loot over that side. for now. Even though we've got four minutes left on the buff. Back we go. And why don't we do the Eternia Crystal just for a change of pace. Corruption key, where am I going to put that? Probably in my safe. All the rest of this. Okay. Eternia crystal stand, cheap as chips. Eternia crystals, not so cheap. Um, if you're going to do this, you should probably hoard them before hard mode uh, because the Eternia crystals are much cheaper that way. Um, I don't, oh, there we go, that's our initial little bit of crystals that he gives us that I hadn't gotten yet, uh, defender metals rather, currency that can only be used here, I thought he used to give just five actually. So I can pick any two of the lowest tier of Sentry. Um, I don't know if the first wave is going to be upgraded because we're in hard mode, but if that's the case, then this is going to be pretty damn weak. In any case, I like the Ballista Rod and Lightning Aura Rod much better. Um... So I'm just going to put the crystal here. I wonder what happens, though. Yeah, I thought so. That's convenient. Um, we've got a pretty flat area here. Do I want to... I definitely want to use piercing rounds, high-velocity bullets. And I 
think that's about it. First wave or two should be pretty easy anyway. I don't love that I don't have proper line of sight to them. Where they spawn. That's fine. Um, where are my minions? I'm trying to swap to the... Uh, flame imps. They are much, much better at this. In fact, this is the perfect time to use a summoning potion. Or even go summon a build. Grab all of this stuff. So that we can do this. I wonder if I could swap to fishing real quick to grab those. I can. Ouch. Probably shouldn't have, though. Uh, let's do some... Oh, crap. Some ballistas back here. I don't have time to check how much I've got. Nine Eternia. Okay. So now I can put one over on the right side. Once I get a chance. Every single enemy that comes here. And I can afford one more. That is not much damage. These are the biggest threat by far, the flying enemies. They do ludicrous damage. IV bullets, very, very good for this. I kind of slept on high velocity bullets, I didn't know that they were this good. probably just forgot that they pierce. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not great. Okay. All right. That's that's ungood. I don't like it. Next wave's already starting. Let's just gank this side for about 30 seconds, if that. Oh, that's a priority target. Sensitivity is off. I don't know if I'm gonna get to wave five. Oh, we're on four now. Okay. Or if I if I can finish wave five rather. Or even get to wave five actually. That might be a problem. That might be a problem. Oh. 
Oh, that was close. Uh, I don't think I'm beating the next wave, though. Oh! I clicked out of the... out of the game. Whoops. I can't really spam the homing missiles because they're gonna just go for the ground enemies. Yeah, I can't keep up with the DPS. This is how it ends. That's definitely buffed by hard mode. So I'm not going to be able to kill a boss in the Eternia Crystal. Not for a while. I got one Defender Medal? Bruh. I'm not doing that again. I guess we'll just stick with the weakest... Uh, sentry. How does it compare to the spider thing, though? Um, let's hold on to these for a sec. need a lot more dagger if I'm gonna... Well, maybe summoner. If we had, like, what, five or six imps piercing everything from off-screen? Uh, maybe. Maybe. But I think they're all buffed by hard mode, so imps aren't that good anymore, actually. I should probably be grabbing... Oh, the guide died. I should probably be grabbing Shiverthorn as I run past there. Alright, so 34 summon damage. 4 summon damage, but it's very frequent. Versus 33. Okay, well the Ballista is definitely better than the... Um, Oh, crap, I forgot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, minor detail. I, I definitely should have done this before hard mode, if I was going to use it at all. So... Before you can use these, uh... Wait, what? Where did... That's a lot of purple clubfish. Uh, where did my... Is it in the chest, or did I, like, drop it? I'm gonna have to check. Uh, the sentries that you get from the tavern heap... You can't use them outside of the Eternia Crystal until you've beaten it. Uh, by which I mean... If it's pre-hard mode, it means beating level 5, which is pretty easy if you've got flame imps. Um, I don't think I can use any of these outside of, uh, outside of the event until I beat whatever the limit is at the moment. Which is probably not going to happen. Maybe with Duke Fish Run gear. I'm not even joking. So I can't use the Ballista, which would be a little bit better, mostly because it doesn't... the projectile doesn't drop very much. I can't use that because I didn't do the Eternia Crystal pre-hard mode. Sad. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is where I put it. That's not what I meant to do. Alright, well, let's just put this in here to rot for eternity. You have a rod of discord? Yeah, I got pretty lucky there. Um, let's stack some of these. Oh, <laughs> well that works I guess. Sell the mini purple clubberfish. And get our wrath potions at last. I farmed like four hours. I had eight nymph banners by the time I got it. Yeah, it is ridiculously low odds. Um, what was I trying to make? Wrath potion. We got 29. That's actually quite good. Okay. Ready to get killed by Duke again? How's our ammo? Uh, 6,000 cursed. That's pretty, pretty good. What time is it? Almost midnight. Okay, so when the sun is coming up, I need to remember to reactivate my grav potion. Alright. Here we go. I could switch weapon to something that pierces to get rid of the bubbles quickly, but it's just... I don't really feel like it's worth the effort. Especially because weapon switching in this game is dodgy as hell. I want to go over him so that I go back this way and avoid the Sharknadoes that he dropped earlier. Like that. That was the one that he just dropped. Not much I could have done about it. Oh my god. Uh, 28 seconds till I could heal, and another one of those sharks would kill me. Oof. I forgot that I was falling upwards, and I tried to use the, um... I tried to use the mount to fall faster. That could have been bad. What? Why did he move like that? Instead of starting his attack, he did the thing where he, like, a boss glues itself to a certain position relative to you. No matter how you move. <sighs> you got this first try. Uh-huh. Well, rip some potions. And we're no longer going to have the sun coming up as our cue to redo our buff. 
You know, I probably could teleport to the other ocean um, if I need time to heal. But that's not why I died anyway. It, we almost never die from anything but a one-shot. I had flashbacks to Don't Dig Up, and I thought the Falling Star would kill me. Sharknado making things a little awkward. I think the Sharknado's in... Uh... All the worthy deal more damage the further into the fight we are. Unless it was just random. uncomfortable. Should have just gone through the NATO, probably. Or tried to go under it. So far, so good. That was a bit of a tough angle, but it's okay. That was a little bit lucky. My minions are doing absolutely nothing. Grab potion. Oh crap. I double double grabbed. Dealing that much damage to him. It's more important to focus on survival, but the lower we kill him, the longer we have to keep this up and stay lucky. Like that thing not dealing damage, which it does 97% of the time. I'm pretty sure it's a bug or something when this thing chases you and deals damage. Holy crap, that was closer than I thought it would be. Yeah, like, maybe it works like that, but it's, um, harder to see because it's fast. You just get hit by the tornado immediately. Oh my god. Why has the steampunker just arrived?
down we go. I really wish I'd not brought these minions. They actually distract me whenever they fly up like that. I think they're a projectile that I have to avoid. That lightning made me think there was a different attack coming. Mood light, uh, mood lightning. That Sharknado is a little inconvenient, but I think we're fine. This one is more of a problem. I don't know how I didn't hit that shark there. It wouldn't have dealt damage directly, but I would have bounced off of it with Shield of Cthulhu. Oh, this is bad. We're down to 20k hit points. Oh, and this is it. Up we go. One, two, one, two, three, swap. One, one, two, one, two, three, swap. One, one, two, one, two, three. Grav potion, one, one. Two, no, 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 please, not like this. One, two, three, swap. One, one, two, one, two, three, keep going. One, one, two, don't go to space. One, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have gone up for two of those. What was he on, like, two health? <sighs> the textbook plan is, let's say we start here, he does one dash, we're falling upwards, two dash, three dash, and then we swap and we haven't gone to space, um, one dash, two dash, three dash, and we swap and so on, but the beginning of that phase is never going to cooperate with that perfect plan, so we have to improvise a little bit. And I could have sworn I was, like, down here and went through, like, one, one, two, and then I found myself too high and I couldn't fall fast enough. If I'd remembered the Rod of Discord, I probably could have salvaged that. But I don't use the Rod much in those fights because weapon switching in this game is really sketchy and it's easy to teleport back into his face. He had 5k? That's, like, nothing. Veldak, Mr. JJ, Robo Jumper, Nagaskin, welcome back. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. What is that? Oh, it's a painting. Well, we know we can do it. And that strategy does work. I just need to be able to be more adaptive. I can definitely get away with swapping between any set of one, two, or three dashes. Um, so I should probably do it a little bit more often. Pay mo try to. I was going to say try to pay more attention to my altitude, but do I really want my eyes to be up here when I'm fighting the final phase of Duke? Summon better summons? Yeah, the summons don't really do anything, but... Um, but it's not nothing. It's not literally nothing. We can definitely do this. This is our last truffle worm before we have to... Uh, before we have to farm them again. Okay. Try to remember the rod of discord in the final phase if if I'm getting cornered. Didn't check my ammo, but I'm sure I've got plenty. 
a dodgy start. I shouldn't have moved that way. If I can be circling around him rapidly when he's throwing out the bubbles, I'll waste less shots uh, killing the bubbles. Not that it's that big of a deal. It's like a tiny fraction of the time that we spend shooting at him. I'm getting more confident um, controlling his movement in this phase as well. But as always, it's the Sharknadoes that spice things up a little bit too much. Okay, 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 okay. Alright. Like that. distance. Oh, that's not what I want to see. Oh, that's not what I want to see. Okay. That'll probably be Sharknadoes chasing us. Yep. We got this. 40% done. That's not what I want to see. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. This is fine. We're good, we're healthy. I don't think we've taken a single hit this mi uh, mission. Mission kill deep fish from. Okay. Yikes. Spoke. Well, I wouldn't say I spoke too soon, but. Um... Oh, that's not what I want. It didn't do much damage, though. I don't know where the Sharknadoes are right now. That's not good. I can see from his health bar whether I'm hitting him off screen. easier to pay attention to when he's below me. Fifty-two K hit points to go. Oh that was a little closer than I thought it would be. That would have potentially be an instant death. Ooh. Lucky I just happened to move to the left a little bit to prepare to be ahead of Duke there. 40k almost. Yikes. Where did that come from? I actually have no idea. One shark does that much damage. Orchard Star, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello, I deleted my zenith by accident. Oh no. Play Plagio, welcome also. Cyber Exile. I don't understand what's happening. Why is the screen going upside down? Uh, it's a gravity potion. It swaps gravity. I can swap gravity at will while this is active. 
and I'm using it because two reasons. It effectively gives me infinite flight, and falling is faster. And we really need to stay ahead of this boss, so I have to actually... Well, well my style of fighting him anyway is to kite him for that phase. Uh, by falling and dashing, we can get the maximum out of our movement. What are you selling? Oh, we already did this. It squeaks at glorious 96 kilohertz. Perfect. Um, let's put the other pet away. This is Damsel's favorite, but I find it a little bit, little too distracting. We'll see how this one goes. And redo our buffs. Uh, I'm missing something here. Oh, we're out of health potions. That's, um, that's not great. Uh, the best potions we can make require crystal shards and pixie dust, I believe. And that's it. Bottled water. That's not that bad to farm. Bottled water... Oh, do they only... Oh, I ran out of pixie dust. Cody's a decent store, though. Okay. Let's try again. We've got 3.6k bullets. I don't think we'll be running out in one fight. Oh, we're out of... Um... Uh, we're out of truffle worms, actually. Best place to get them on this map is over here. I need to switch this to the net so I don't have to try to do it when the moment comes. Clear out all the little mushrooms so that I can see the truffle worms. Oh, crap. I don't want to be wasting curse bullets right now. Where are my bullets? There we go. The piercing is also a big help. seeing any truffle. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't expecting him to gain altitude that fast. Gained a lot of angle relative to where I was a already aiming. I think down below was a more effective place to get truffle worms to spawn, just because of the shape of the terrain. This place is a bit easier to survive in, though. Okay, okay, that could have one-shot me. Okay. Like that. The movement pattern is really weird. It doesn't come straight at you, so I start jumping thinking I'm going to dodge it, and I actually go straight into it. There's nothing for it but shoot down the projectiles, like, as they happen, really. They like to go above your head, and then, even through walls, drift down, and eventually hit you. Um... So much for that part being safer. 
It would probably help if I actually prepared for dangerous places like that. I don't think I can survive a one-shot from those things, though. I don't want to spend my more precious um, buffs here. Let's go get our stuff back for starters. Still haven't seen a single truffle worm. Fill the sky with projectiles to shoot down the enemy projectiles. I take it back, this place is hell. Let's get out of here. Approach from another angle. Get far, far enough away to make sure things despawn. Oh. At least some of them didn't. Where are we? Oh, here it is. Is this a trap? I don't... Still haven't seen truffle worm number one. That's really weird, actually. Is this where I was getting a bunch of truffle worms last time? Where else on the map would it have been? Oh, probably over here. I'll try it. Mr. Worm? Oh no. I think it was this place, maybe. It was relatively easy to farm them in. There's one. Oh my god. If there's one thing... Okay, if there's two things I don't like about Terraria, it's the the way the weapon switching is all sketchy, and the way enemies can spawn one tile off screen. So that literally just jumping up there to deal with that skeleton, and trying to get to the truffle worm, suddenly there's a one of these, but a big one, a fungi bulb, in my way. Just like that. I literally just, just barely... Uh. Get wrecked. Of course the truffle worm is long gone. Alright, so we need to not jump, basically. Or at least not jump high enough for the floor to go off screen. Which is normally what I would do to encourage the truffle worms to spawn. But uh, this seed's kind of crazy. Let me just make a little, little spot here. Uh, where are my mushrooms? Here we go. 
And we're going to put down... Uh, East Candle. Normally I would do the opposite of this. Um, I would increase the rate, the spawn rate, if I'm looking for truffle worms, but this seed is hell. Okay. 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 I need something that hits through walls. I do have a couple of weapons like that back home, but... Hmm, maybe I could dig? Oh, I see what you're doing. And I don't like it. It is so designed to come at you the moment that you're not prepared. Look at this crap. Did I leave this on journey mode with maximum monster spawns? There's a truffle worm, good luck getting it. There's two truffle worms, good luck getting them. I could really cheese it by digging a tunnel underneath, like right underneath. I want to get back in there, but like, this is too much, man. Also, how are they dying? I keep hearing... I guess it's not a death noise. not sure how... Okay, that's too much. How oh, I did this earlier. Here, I would have ended up flying over this way. But those are the only places I've been to for the mushroom biomes. I think it was maybe this little tu- Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think I know. I think I know where we're going. We're going to cheese the hell out of it if we can. Anomura fungus. Uh, which one's that? Oh, it's these guys. They're really common. That makes sense. Definitely doesn't hurt having a banner for one of them. So was it up here? I think we were able to get the truffle worms when they crawl over here or something. And or I remember having them spawn on the stairs all the time. Maybe it was like up here that I was camping. I see a truffle worm over there, there's no way we're getting it. Hmm. 
Oh my god. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stay right about here. Truffle worms get stuck in the little holes that were made by bombs a while ago. That's one. It's important that I don't move around too much and have enemies spawn behind me. Oh god, I didn't see it. Holy crap, that was lucky. There's another truffle worm dropping into our little hole. Corruption enemies are really not scary. Compared to these things. Okay, can I get away with grabbing that worm. Probably. We got three. Yep, this is definitely the spot. This is very, very much the spot. There's another two there now. They keep getting stuck in the same spot. Oh, crap. We only survived that because of a banner. Jeez. I should mark this on the map somehow. How about I literally make a sign? Um, but I have to stand next to the sign while I type out what I want it to say. a big T for truffle so you can see it on the map. I think I'll be able to see the sign. Yeah, here it is. Give us a sign. Mushy ladybug. Uh, we could probably put there a banner there as well. That's all I wanted to do. Okay, we have 3.6k bullets. We have plenty of truffle worms. And we have plenty of potions. Time to try again, I suppose. How much money do I have? Might be worth reforging something. 3.2 plat. One percent more damage isn't worth that much of a reroll. I only have one ranger emblem to reroll, and stochastically. Plus 4% damage should be more or less the same as plus 4% crit. 
This is actually about as good as it gets. You monster, you reminded me Terraria exists. Thunderclap Sasquatch. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm going to be happy until I have a giant base. Not going to be happy. Oh, I'm guessing that's what you meant. Made entirely out of gold and diamond bricks. Well, you can farm diamond, so... Oh, you know what? Just play just play for the worthy. There's ludicrous amounts of gold. That's not where the difficulty lies. Did I get another chew toy? No, I just didn't put it here. Okay. I guess Bat Bat can go in here. Correct. Unhappy. Fair enough. Um, I guess we're doing this again. Yes, we're doing this again. Good luck. Go to the right, and then to the left, nice and high. And that's not good. Oh, that was... that was very close. That was also... See, this is why you try to control where the tornadoes are going to end up. Because what choice, what, what chance did I have of dodging that? It's not like a bullet hell game where you've got infinite acceleration. Turn on a dime. Quite the opposite, actually. Which is why Calamity trying to turn Terraria into a bullet hell game is not so good. Health is pretty bad, but I can heal in five seconds. Wait, did that just heal for only 100? No, I've got... I must have misread it. Tornadoes should be above me. Oh, that was close. Stay in the air a bit longer. And hope we don't run into the nados here, like that, kind of. In trying to manage, uh, make sure I don't run into one nado, I kind of set up the other one. Snipe at me. This is not good. Let's go this way. And almost run out of space. Closer than expected. What's he doing? What? Why did he just break his pattern? I fought him so many times and I couldn't predict whatever he was just doing there.
Regular Duke Fish Run is going to feel easy after this. Like, it's the same fight, but you can get away with quite a few more mistakes. Or bad luck, or both. let him get closer than I meant to there. I've gotten into the habit of just pressing B for buff very often, instead of trying to count when I need to use the grab potion. Whenever I'm... oh crap. Oh. Whenever I'm getting ready to switch gravity when I'm about to hit the ground or the ocean. Just hit B again. Much simpler. Let's get below this thing so it can't hit us with the sharks. And we're almost down to 30k. We're getting there. That's, that was a bad choice. That was a bad choice. I'm surprised I didn't die. I shouldn't have doubled back there at that moment. I can heal in one second, though. That was close. Hopefully we don't have a Sharknado out when he starts the final phase. That could really mess us up. Kind of did the thing. That's two. One, two, three. Oh god. I can't, I can't, I can't. I should have used the. <clears throat> so. I kind of got cornered by the timing of his dashes. I should have. Because I, ex I was expecting dash number one, which I didn't get to see. Then he was doing two dashes. And then I didn't realize that I had to change direction right then and there, or I would end up in space. And then unable to dodge him unless I did the Rod of Discord, which I never remember in that moment. The fact that I didn't get to see him do the first dash um, completely threw off my timing and expectations and control of the fight. Going to need a buttectomy after all this clenching. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, and the trouble is we have to repeat that. Like, we, we're we at the point now, which always happens when we're getting better at fighting Duke, that we're now at the point where we just have to slog through that, like, ten minutes of the first phase, just to get the opportunity to practice the second phase, which kills us in one hit. Um, it's always cool when video games do that. I'm down to 2400 cursed bullets. I think I had like 3.1k or 3.2k when I started. So it should be alright to do this again without any farming. It's a little bit dark, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Actually, it's dark enough that it would be hard to see the Sharknadoes, and Hunter Potions don't help with that. I think I should probably wait a little bit. If I need to wait a bit, I should probably farm whatever I'm going to run out of first, which is, I don't know what. Ocean is not what I wanted.
Let me get some water real quick. We can definitely do it. Just gotta get the rhythm for the final phase to start right. And I have to remember there's the Rod of Discord uh, in case it looks like I'm about to get cornered. Because I can actually see it coming, like, seconds away. That he's going to force me this way, that way, and then I'm going to go to space, and then I'm not going to be able to dodge the last, the last attack or something. The other alternative would be, like, what would happen if you set that... Oh my goodness. I could speed up time to get to the morning. It'd probably still be storming, actually. But I want to, like, clear my head anyway. Let's go grab some Cursed Flame. Are those two-piece candles? Oh no, that's like a hallowed candle. That's what I'm looking for. A clinger. That's 450 cursed bullets right there. Oh, hello. Rune Wizard is a pretty high priority target. Rune Wizard isn't, like, difficult to kill or anything. It just punishes you for ever, ever letting your guard down when you're this deep. With a one-hit kill, most likely. I mean, definitely- oh, crap! Okay. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting that. To be two shot in about one second by an enemy that just came out of the wall. Especially considering my defensive dash was like, kind of locked me into being hit by the next hit. Um, yeah. That was cool. Alright, is it still storming? It is. What do I want to do in the meantime, though? I guess I could try and get a Medusa. There's like a annoyingly rare drop from Medusa that we need at some point. But I have to go through some pretty dangerous places to get there. You know, this one's kind of close. Kind of. Let's take some buffs. But not the expensive ones. This is one way you can tell what biome you're in. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, good. I forgot about the turtles. Good. More things that will definitely kill me in one hit, even though I'm wearing pretty strong armor. Yikes. Alright, this is what we're after. We need some Medusas to spawn. 
like that, but you're not going to be reachable. You're going to fall off the map. And I'm not going out there. It's gonna be hard to get some Medusas to spawn when we're in the Crimson Biome and... holy crap. Uh, and everything... you know, there's a million spawns outside. Oh, there's one. Don't walk away. Stay there, stay there. Nice of him to pick up some money so I can see where he is. Oh wow, that was actually half my health. Alright, did we get it? Nope. I think I'll put down a heart lantern here, because we're going to be here a while. That's not a heart lantern. Heart lantern goes on the ceiling. stay on their own level. Spiders OP for this sort of situation. Nope. I think I need to go over here to potentially make Medusa spawn over this way. Worms can go surprisingly high. No, the uh, the crimson enemies. Not these ones. This one. Floaty... Floaty Gross? What a weird name. I think I'll just leave this door open, actually. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. This is actually a pretty terrible spot to try and farm Medusas. Would this be any better? Probably. Probably quite a lot better, actually. Oh hey, it's not dark anymore. How long did it take that debuff to wear off? Gladiator breastplate, or whatever. And then... Should probably make some more cursed bullets. Three point seven K seems good. One sec.
Mouse feels a bit weird. Alright. Got all of our buffs still. Let's try once more with the... Actually, let me get some caffeine first real quick. Okay. Try again. Wait, wait, wait. Get minions that might actually do a little bit. I wish I could get the uh, Sanguine Bats. I mean, technically I can get the Sanguine Bats before I do Duke Fish Run, but um, you either need cheese or... It's going to be very, very, very tough without that kind of DPS. That was closer than I thought it would be. That's not good. At least I actually... Th oof. Okay, that wasn't as good as I thought it would be in terms of keeping away from Duke. Um, it worked out pretty well, obviously. I'm glad I actually thought of it in the moment for once to go under the tornadoes. But I need to make sure I've got plenty of space away from Duke Fish Run before I do that. And that was also very lucky. I don't know how I didn't get hit by the shark. Or bump into it with the shield, rather. We're killing him pretty quick. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. He's gonna stay on the left. Like, magically. Maybe I should have gone right that time. If I let him get closer, even if my aim is bad, more shots are gonna hit. Better to just take the damage from the NATO there. Where's the NATO? That's good. That's excellent, actually. That's not good. That's fine. This could be a little bad, and I think we're okay. It's a second NATO from across the map. With the little bump that almost killed us. Is it, the th is it the halfway point where he, like, stops it? No, 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 no. My buff potion ran out at the worst possible time. Okay. It's fine. We have 50 hit points. It's okay. This is totally fine. Actually heal.
That's a lot of dead sharks. We're down to almost 50k. I should... Yeah, that's that's the exact moment where I should use the rod of Discord. When I can see it coming that I'm going to get cornered. With plenty of time to react. I gotta be not... Okay, okay, that was awkward. Not too greedy with trying to get back to dealing damage as soon as I teleport as well. Oh, that was close. Oh, okay. Didn't have time to see that one coming. well now actually. 24 seconds till I can do another heal. Probably have full health by then actually. Okay, that's just... <sighs> this is what I don't like about this boss fight. Less than a second from seeing the tornado on screen to hitting it, and then same thing for the shark. That was from full health. I'm pretty sure. Just dead in one second, while we're miles away from Duke Fisheron, and we haven't seen the tornadoes. We're digging some tunnels. Oh. Sorry, that was the... Presumably for the worms? Was that only 10 minutes ago? Oh, Medusa. If I dug all of this away so that the crimson enemies would fall off, um, and then we'd have fewer crimson enemies spawning and they would stop being part of the monster count, then we could get a lot more pop lights and, more importantly, Medusa's spawning. I think here would be the place to go to try and get Medusa. It's only one item that I want from her. Um, a mirror that gives immunity to Petrify, which uh, is... I'm pretty sure Medusa's the only thing that does this, but you now need that rare drop from her to upgrade all of the immunity things to combine them with each other. What food should I make in order to use lots of olives? Oh, I love olives. Mm. Pizza or a wrap, maybe? What else goes... What, what else is good for olives? Apparently I can't quick stack this. There we go. Pizza comments in mind as well, indeed. Name name a better food for easy to make but very delicious. Fourteen dollars recipes to use up that leftover jar. Just eat them straight. It depends what kind of olives we're talking about as well. I frequently get uh, green olives marinated in garlic or some other stuff. Chili and garlic. They have a huge jar with olives. I really want that jar. Pasta is easy to make. That's true. I don't think pasta, unless it's some kind of... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Sorry, bunny. A rabbit? Uh, what was I saying? I'm not sure if pasta is quite in the same league as in terms of how good it tastes. Unless, if we're talking like low skill cooking, right?
Okay. Let's do it again. And hope we get through that 10 minutes of survival without random tornadoes ganking us. It's definitely a bit easier if I use the Rod of Discord responsibly. But there was there was nothing to be done about how I died there. Yeah, that's that's that thing he does where he tries to stay on one side of you. It's only because I was dashing while he was doing the attack that I got past him. I hear sharks. I don't like. That's what I was afraid of. We're good though. Try and bring the bubble down this way. So that we know where the natos are. Or they could just appear basically at random. That's that's cool too. Oh, how did he hit me? Oh, that's bad. That's the way that shark moves is really weird. Like, they seem to be on a ballistic path, but not actually. They kind of glide or something. Just like with the little spores that you think are headed straight for you, but they're actually going up. We are fighting in the dark now, but it's not really... It's not that much of a problem. It's the only... It's only the tornadoes being hard to see that's any kind of issue. And it's not that dark. Alright, so this tornado is going to be more or less in the middle. And I just wasted health because of the weapon switch weirdness. It's only a small amount, though. More importantly, my positioning wasn't completely screwed. Oh, come on! Another NATO in the middle. I really need to not have them end up there. I'm gonna get sniped by sharks all the time. Everything's off sync with this fight. Okay, so I want the NATO down this way, right? But there's one that's like a, almost a screen to the right of that as well. Don't do another one. God damn it. Why are you like this? See, why couldn't you get, why couldn't you have done the bubbles last time? Now everything's all messed up. This is pretty good though. Nothing difficult to dodge anytime soon, pretty sure. That next NATO is going to be a bit of a problem, I think. Not really. I would prefer not to be fighting him in a storm. <laughs> Up we go. 
back down again. Fucking shots. Halfway there almost. Probably halfway to the uh final phase, which is the one part that we actually need to practice. Oh, that's not what I want to see. No, 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 no. How did they get that high? can even come almost straight down at you. Okay, good. That's that's actually a good place for the NATOs to be. I don't know why they were underwater like that. Keep them out of keep them out of my flight path. Good, actually. We're at full health as well. That's... that's cool and normal. That's cool and normal as well. I like that there's any warning whatsoever. Too much, too much bad luck with the NATOs, that's all there is to it. No matter how hard you try, you can't control where they're gonna be. You can't see or hear them from off screen. And with the way the character's momentum works, you can't really dodge them by reaction either. There should be a better audio cue. Yeah, the only audio cue I've got is that he's throwing out the bubble that will turn into the tornadoes. So I have a very rough idea, based on my movement and where he was when he made that sound, of where the tornadoes are going to end up. But even with that, like knowing about where the projectile is, um, sometimes the nados, like... If the bubble explodes here, sometimes the NATOs are way down on the ground, sometimes they're on the surface of the water, sometimes they're below the surface of the water, sometimes there's like one over here and one over here, sometimes they're quite close to each other, uh, and there's no way to know. And all you can do is like stochastically move around to try and Minimize your chances of getting clapped in a way that you couldn't see coming. It's really cool and fair and uh, skill-based and fun. Why are we... Oh, it's a party. I was confusing the balloons with lanterns for a split second. So the bubbles are basically worthless. Um, you know, unless you get caught and instantly killed by them, but with this style of movement, that's very unlikely. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, do that again. Thank you. 
I think I should just preemptively get ready to teleport whenever I know that I'm going to have to dodge some sharks. That is something that I can do instantly, although I may, you know, I, I may get just get killed by a shark right after I teleport that I couldn't have seen coming. But we can but do our best to minimize the odds of things like this. accuracy there. Could hear all the bullets hitting. Oh, that's that's not what I want to see. Definitely worth sacrificing a small amount of health to get past that. Especially when we have regen. The fact that we can't outrun Duke without the diagonal movement um, often hurts us into an uncomfortable position as well, when otherwise the play would definitely be to run straight horizontally for a bit because of where the Sharknadoes or Sharks are going to be. Definitely cut that a little closer than I should have. Looks like those sharks are probably not going to be a problem. Ran out of buff potion, but luckily I had a like a second to realize it. getting dark again. This one's going pretty well. So Cool, that's one Sharknado we won't have to deal with. This one is probably going to pose more of a problem. It's okay. This next one's probably going to be bad for us. Sacrificing some health there, I think. Uh, I just got confused and didn't use my teleport wand for a second there. That was pretty bad. Luckily it was in a situation where for once it didn't matter. 
We're almost down to 20k. Almost teleported, but we didn't need it. This is it. One, two. One, two, three. Down we go. One. One, two, swap. One, two, three, swap. One. One, two, swap. One, two, three. Okay. One. One, two. Grav potion ran out. That's why I got hit. Two, three. One, focus. One, two. One, two, three, swap. One. One, two, swap. One, two, three. One. One, two, swap. How did that... How, how did... How? I don't know if it... I, I don't know if my dash didn't come out or... What? Okay, well, the first phase is getting a little easier as well, even though we could still get clapped if we get really unlucky. I think we were down to like 2,000 hit points as well. We're getting there though, we actually got some practice in the final phase this time. Uh, I might need more than 81 cursed bullets though. I mean, we could use crystal bullets. I think the cursed are a little better, especially because... I don't know, I think he does take damage while... He's teleported away from the damage over time. 1755. God, that's nothing. What's my DPS? On one target with cursed bullets. 500? More or less? Three or four seconds of shooting him would have killed him. It doesn't count the DOT as well. Okay. We're getting there. Oh, right. Fish spawning the nanosecond that they're off screen. Gotta be wary of that. So now we're not getting any clingers? I know. If I try to fish, we'll definitely get clingers coming in. This is very oddly quiet. I'll take two Evan Koi though. And the armored cave fish. Was AFK for a bit? Did you kill Duke Fisher on? No, we were three seconds of DPS short. I did get the uh, final phase pretty much down pat. So now we're at the point where we survive longer each time. Well, not each time. On average, we survive longer. Therefore, we get the opportunity to get better at it. Um, more so. For a second there I thought my fishing rod dealt damage when I accidentally tossed it out. Why are we not getting any um, 
Any creepers? Clingers, I think they're called. I came here for cursed flame and nothing else. Did anyone pay attention to what my DPS was against Duke? Because we could compare it with, um, Acor bullets, I guess. My spiders just won't jump high enough to attack this thing. There we go. There must be, like, a dozen enemies. There's a clinger. You know what? I'm gonna go away so that stuff can despawn, so that we can try to find the enemies we're looking for again. There's one. Maybe I should run laps instead. So, I would like to have 3,000 bullets. Which means... 20 Cursed Flame? Minimum? I forgot to get the cake. I think we've got about enough cake, but it's not like having more hats. Do I have a slice of cake over at the ocean? I do not. We could even refresh this buff during the fight, in theory. Grab some golden bullets. They're in here. Uh, what? Oh, they're down here. Cool, cool, cool. How much Cursed Flame did I pick up? 13. That's not quite what I'm looking for. We only have 9 Echo anyway. You got really good at dodging tornadoes with the Discord rot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know when to expect the tornadoes, mostly. Um, so I basically just get the Discord rod ready ahead of time. Or at least mentally prepare for it, because I have to stop firing in order to weapon switch. Like, I have to deliberately space it out just a little bit. Party time's over, we just barely got the cake. Alright, let's go... Farm some enemies. Wait, golden bullets don't pierce, do they? No. That'd be a bit too good. I wouldn't use high velocity bullets except maybe against some bosses if golden bullets pierced even once. Oh, no, you must die. Okay, how how do I get in here?
That's too many bats. That's too many bats. Shoot. It's actually just a debuff that's applied by the golden bullets. Um, you can hit them and then just kill them with something else, as long as you do it within a few seconds. I think the same applies to... Uh, what is it called? The golden flask? This guy does not want it... <laughs> okay then. <laughs> That wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> um, but yeah, the golden bullets are beyond cheap, especially compared to the money that you actually get by using them. no real need to conserve them. I just wanted to spam Toxicarp at the at, at the wall and still get the gold bonus. How much have we got? Oh, 19 Cursed Flame. That's pretty good, actually. Should have life. Alright, back we go. And what? Make some cursed bullets. Four thousand six hundred. That's pretty good. Put the golden bullets away. And. And nothing. It's not like I need the high velocity bullets handy or something. I really wish there was a switch ammo type key in Terraria. Lots of situations where I'd like to quickly switch ammo types. Okay. Is there anything in here? Yes, but I don't feel like dealing with it right now. I've got two more attempts before I have to farm truffle worms again. Let's go for it, I guess. Probably shouldn't start while it's this dark. Probably. Midnight and partly cloudy. Let's do a fishing quest. Put in surface and underground. trouble catching this fish. There it is. Uh, it's a painting, isn't it? Yes, it is. Did I run out of... no, we're good. Blue jellyfish is just good for selling. Um, speaking of selling, let's get rid of this. That'll 
for you for now. Two minutes until the sun comes up. Oh, I'm down to four endurance potions. Let's try and do something about that. Probably best to use a fishing potion since the uh, armored cave fish are frustratingly rare. There's one. They're not exactly rare, but they're rare compared to how many you need. Since the buff only lasts for four minutes. If I turn to the left, the spiders drop down here and have line of sight to this. Because they always want to stand behind you. Um, we've still only found one. One armored cave fish. Um, I don't want to use this as bait for selling. Number two. Get at least three. There we go. RNG is spiky as ever. The sun comes up a little bit more. My onions are slacking. Spiders are so good, but so bad. Like, it depends on if they feel like attacking something. And then they just stick to it. Quadrupled. Well, if we get the worst luck possible, we've quadrupled our endurance potions. is terrible luck. Out of 12 rolls, we only got, uh, we only saved the material, the armored cave fish, once when we made an endurance potion. That sucks. Alright, let's make some more seafood dinners out of these expendable fishies. And... Probably quite a lot more in here. Wow, okay. That is at least several. And I think we're good to go now. No. All right. A 
let's do this. We'll definitely win this time. There's, there's no way. There's no way we can lose. Oh, my minions are wrong. Not that they have a habit of doing much. In fact, I don't think I saw... Um, I don't think I saw Duke Fish run on fire, like the regular on fire, even once last time. Could be wrong about that. Hey, they're on the Duke. Nope, they're gone. We got like one damage out of our minions. That was nasty. Should have healed faster so that the cooldown's ready sooner. That was also bad. I should have teleported, but I didn't think I'd need to. Maybe a bit too high into space. It's fine. Have space. As in distance. Watch out for that NATO. On the way down. It's actually gone already. I know my actions were a little slow there when I teleported, but you have to be really, really careful to not accidentally multi-teleport. Down to 77k. Fantastic. That's not good. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Dragon, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's go up this way. Doing good. Fantastic. No buff. way there. It's going very smoothly for the most part. Oh, that's not smooth. That's not smooth. That was a bit quick, even if I say so. Considering I did not expect any trouble with sharks at that point. Um... Take it easy for a bit. Get some health back. Oh, come on! If I move in that pattern when he's in roughly that direction off screen, he's gonna do the hover thing where he arbitrarily follows my position. I'm not going to be able to get around him. But I wanted to avoid the NATOs. If I'd fully expected him to be there, I could have had my teleport ready. So it didn't have to be a mistake. Good, it's turning into a graveyard again. Thank you for that morale boost. Okay. 
We've got minions. Can easily fix it this time though. If I do run out of ammo, I should remember that Toxic Carp is actually pretty good. Especially when he's chasing you. Which is always with Duke. In fact, for the final phase, filling the screen with Toxic Carp bubbles might actually be a good strategy. Love watching you do these fights while I stare blankly into the void of insomnia. Wife has dentist APPT in 4 hours, but sleep is beneath me sadly hash going dash on dash 22 dash hours. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you very much for the bits. I, I presume they were bits from the sound. I can't really spare the attention to double check right now. win rate against this boss one day. If I can get good enough at dealing with the NATOs, it's kind of a foregone conclusion that I can get good enough at the final phase. Especially since you can practice it with invulnerability on in general. Oh, crap. We're gonna have shark troubles. That was close. Up this way. Really? literally just dodged around a tornado. Those sharks hurt more than the boss? Sometimes they literally do. But, uh, figuratively, yeah, like, you can deal with the boss chasing you. In and of itself, it's really not difficult. It's getting surprised, you know, it's getting ambushed or boxed in by the sharks. Um, that makes the fight a lot more kind of luck-based. I have to farm... I have to farm truffle worms again. It's dying. Must be a mimic, right? What? It is a mimic. Now we have a super bat crammed in here with us. Uh, what was I looking for? Truffle worms. Where's our sign? Here it is. I gotta turn in for the night. Sucks I won't be here to see the kill. GL dude. Thank you very much, Meat Unit, again for the bits. Uh, let me just double check. I'm pretty sure that was you, but... Yes. Oh no, Rage to win as well. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, hopefully we will get it tonight. I mean, we've got, like, almost 90 minutes left. I'm getting better at it. I should think I'll get it today. I hope. That's what I thought would happen last time. I keep wasting my bullets. Let's not do that. Let's get the cheaper bullets. 
So we have some for the boss. And... Back and forth here until Truffle Worms get stuck in the little spaces that the bombs have made. Always be taking some Cursed Flame when we can get it. There's one. Nope. No, it's a fishing thing. Okay, okay. No! I switched to the net, but then the quick... Uh, the, the sketchy weapon switching in this game had me stuck on the gun, so I couldn't... I couldn't grab the worm. Fraser, 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 Fraser. Okay, this is this is not good. Let's not commit to that needlessly. Also, is that our first Titan glove? It might be. We need feral claws, which I think I have here, actually. Yeah. Power glove. And what does that turn into? Berserker's glove. Wait, what does that increase? Enemies are more likely to target you. Uh, oh, we get the 8 defense from this if we do that. That's not bad. Mechanical glove is still a material. We need an Avenger emblem. No air getting colder. Uh, Underworld. I'm not fighting Skeletron Prime without... A lot of prep. As much as the point of this uh, this challenge is not to build arenas, Skeletron Prime in this seed drops bombs that destroy the terrain, and I hate it. So I was working on. I should lower this a bit. I was working on a big explosion-proof uh, floor. so he doesn't mess up my base. Okay, can, can I leave? Please? Get back to the mushroom biome? Down Kishon? Maybe there's souls. There's an awful lot of stuff here. That's not that much damage. I know I'm not playing mage right now, but still. Oh yeah, I can... Oh wow. I didn't realize I could murder them so easily through here. Now this is a cheesy farm. I was literally just about to teleport there and a skeleton spawned. Truffle worms. Fantastic. Four truffle worms. Oh, uh, oh, I missed that one. I didn't think I got close enough to chase him away.
Can this guy reach to shoot at us or not? It's giving me anxiety. I think I made the worm run away. Nope, we're good. Even if I do win the next fight against Duke, we're gonna have to kill him multiple times. We're almost guaranteed not to get the best item um, from killing him. And there's at least two items that I want from him. distracted me. I thought something was coming up behind me, like this bat. Oh, that was too close. Oh, I can't click on that to teleport home? That could have been needlessly disastrous. Okay. We got a whole four truffle worms. We got 3.5k, actually a bit more cursed bullets. Four point five, that is plenty. Um and I should put the power glove in here somewhere. Wait, no, I'll keep the power glove in the mining, the utility, uh, loadout. Okay. I almost wonder if I'd be better off with, uh, Crystal Storm build. Now that I'm getting better, more DPS, I don't know, it's about the same probably. We get one, we get one shot slightly more often with that armor. I'm gonna go kind of against my own advice and try at night time. Gotta remember to redo my buffs. Well, I gotta just spam that all the time, really. Let's stitch the spiders and use some imps because they'll at least do something, probably. Oh, this is my last grab potion. Uh, that won't do. Running, running out of grav in the middle of fighting Duke. Uh, not good, actually. So I probably need to farm feathers. I think I just... I don't know how I avoided damage there, actually. I, I, I was going to say I thought it was the Shield of Cthulhu. But that's not right, because I would have bounced off him. I think he's dead. His soul is up here somewhere. And there's some gold way down on the ground that I'm not going to bother to pick up. We got two feathers so far. Not including that one.
wonder how far off we are from the 50th wyvern. Kill count. 20. Um, so 30 more and we get a... I don't think I've ever gotten a wyvern banner before. Maybe I should do it just for the novelty. Oh! I, I didn't mean spawn immediately. Why are you like this? Okay, I have to say... Um, the obsidian shield is proving more useful than I realized it would. I sort of stopped using it for a while with glass cannon builds, but I think it's worth. I'm not getting screwed over by a bounce from being hit by one thing. It's actually kind of a big deal. We are up to 12 feathers already. Fantastic. There's probably a few down here. Want to be careful though. Oh, okay. I say that, but I dash and put bubbles in front of me and I still get hit by a mummy. Alright. Let's get some grav potions. What did we just run out of? Blink root again. Is that grass down here? Okay. Um, back home. Grab potion. That's more like it. And blink root goes here. And I guess... Let's put a harpy banner up here. Off to the ocean we go. Get our sugar rush. And summon the impending doom. Wait, how much ammo? There we go. Hey, he is on fire. We go, and down we go. Almost ran out of space there. So far, so easy. And he doesn't throw out a NATO. That's nice of him. This will be a NATO. It's going to be pretty much in the middle of everything. Which is not what I want. Alright, that turned out to be no problem at all. And 
down we go. Kind of expecting to run into NATOs about now, but nope, there they are. That's gonna be a NATO. Expecting shark problems right about now. No? We're getting very lucky so far with not having to deal with that. There it is. Too bad. That's got to be another one, right? No, that was the halfway point. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That was unexpected. Really surprised we didn't die there. Nope, 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 nope. Could have used the telling. When can I heal? Ten seconds, I think it said. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, this is good. Leave it or not. What the? That bubble was hard to see, and I kind of thought I'd... Just with where I was aiming, that I would have shot it. I can't believe I died to a bubble. Okay. Three more truffle worms left. Let's start in the usual place this time. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing that could happen. to summon my imps. Not sure where the natos are. Looks like we're okay. Bubbles are easy, do not underestimate the bubbles. The bubbles are easy, do not underestimate the bubbles. So far, so good. Stay focused. Kind of getting a bit tired. Ah, 
That's not what I want to see, but it's okay. That's definitely not what I want to see. This was a bad plan. It's fine. It's fine. Calculated. 100%. No problem. Oh, that's not good. I can't even... What? Were those sharks just appearing in front of me? What? 30 seconds till I can heal. That's the halfway point. Seconds. Bad time for the buff to run out. Not too bad though. My arm is itching. That was easy to dodge. will not be as easy to dodge. Actually it was fine. Actually it was almost not fine. Back to full health. Five seconds till I can heal. Fantastic. And he's down to like a quarter. closer than I thought it would be. Don't run into the nader. Oh, that's not, that's not the move I was expecting from him. That could have got me trapped. Nope. Almost there. Jesus. That was closer than I thought it would be. That double jump was really dumb. Definitely worth sacking a little health there. Don't waste a heal on this, I almost did. Okay. One, two. One, two, three. That was nasty. One, two, two, three. No, I'm timing's off. Jesus, how did I survive that? One, two. That was one. One, two. Swap. He didn't teleport! What the... He finished his attack pattern and then he hung around like he literally never does. The inconsistencies with this boss are frustrating. Especially when it takes 200 years to get to that phase. The Sharknado in the middle of the final phase was not helpful either. I didn't see the numbers, but I'm pretty sure that was a one-shot anyway. Are a little bit low. Not really, but a little bit low on first bullets. Hmm. 
I'll let the adrenaline wear off. Uh, region, we're down to single digits. Almost out of life force, which means I'm going to have to fish in the hallow. Uh, well, these ones last eight minutes anyway. I'm more worried about Cursed Flame for the moment. I thought that was a Mimic, so I'm going to get rid of that Tombstone. Um... Probably get rid of the imps if we're around water. Potion? There we go. Oh, apparently I didn't take any of this stuff. That would probably help. Ow. You know, considering how hard, like, everything in this seed hits, it's really surprising when I get hit by a fireball that does comparatively nothing. Although there is the damage over time to consider. Hey, we finally got armor polish. I'm pretty sure that's our first one. Which is ridiculous if so. Alright, that's probably enough cursed flame for the moment. Um, is it our first armor polish? It is. It actually is. Combines with vitamins. And then we have armor bracing. Um, I don't think we've got half the stuff we need here. Oops. We need the clan, counter-curse mantra, medicated bandage I think we have, um, and reflective shades we need to hunt Medusa for. Oh, and come to think of it, doesn't that, doesn't all of that stuff combine with the obsidian shield? So it'll be a straight upgrade to this? Yeah, it does. It's only like two defense, other than the immunities, though. Not worth worrying too much about. This never happened before, spoken like a game done, games done quick. I don't know if I'll ever be, I don't know if I'll ever find the game to speed run for myself. Speed running is. Very, very involved. Um, what's in here? Sell, 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 sell. Penguin statue? And silt. And an ancient iron helmet. Sell, 
Let's also sell silt plot. And... Is that even worth it at this point? Worth the effort? Why do I have two Toxicarp in here? Oh, I misclicked. That was the wrong... That was the wrong container. Okay, then. Alright, once more... We need cursed bullets. That's quite a lot. And... I think with everything else we're good. Except for my... Fatigue. It's getting harder to concentrate. Harder to keep the mouse as steady as well. Um... Imps? Why do I only have one? Oh, there's a spider. Clearly what we need to make the difference in this fight is a third imp. Hmm. Okay, let's do it. I briefly considered taking a break, but... Like... What time is it? 2am? That's fine. I gotta remember to spam my buffs, because some of these are gonna run out sooner than expected, because they're already active. Careful of the bubbles. The thing is, I'm used to fighting Duke with Crystal Storm, and the bubbles can't do anything against Crystal Storm. They pretty much just get instantly deleted, because the rate of fire is so high. In fact, maybe even not as a mage, I should be using Crystal Storm when I have the spare mana. Maybe it's a mistake just to use Ranger for this. That's bad. just a scratch. It's fine. I could at least use them to destroy the bubbles. It's not that much better that if I'm not already firing it, it isn't that amazing. just rude. I 
I could have gone under the water, but I think it would have slowed me down too much. A little bit too greedy there with the altitude. Rav potion ran out. Good timing. I, I cut that too close. I definitely cut that too close. Under the tornado. We're more than halfway there now. Ow. Random bubble hit, always good. Best it happens when we're at full health at least. I was getting ready to teleport there, but the sharks had already run out. Got that closer than I maybe should have. Kinda of lucky with the spacing there. Would have been very Oh god, I, I hit Grav one too many times. I can heal uh, immediately actually. I think the debuff must have just run out. Gonna have to go high and far here, which is a little bit uncomfortable. Good. Now what's my DPS? Just under 500. When I'm hitting him, that is. Preemptive dodge. Gotta focus on hitting him more, otherwise we're gonna be here too long. Ooh. Okay, final phase incoming. Soon TM. I think this is it. One. This should be one, two. One, two, three. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, grab potion, please, three, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, oh crap, two, three, one, one, two, finally. Ah, we got there eventually. Thank you. <laughs> We'd better hope this is a good weapon for killing Duke in here. Otherwise we're going to have to do basically that again. Alright. Big money, big money. As far as I can think of... Uh, off the top of my head we're looking for anything except for wings. Although I really do want the wings. And the summon. Bubble gun? Bubble gun is actually very, very good. Bubble gun is actually extremely good. 
Each of these bubbles does 96. That's without putting on mage gear. Um, it uses a minuscule amount of mana. And of course, the fact that it's short range like this is no issue whatsoever when Duke is chasing us. It also kind of lets us put some projectiles out where he's going to be um, in the final phase. Uh, in fact, even even if I'm playing like Ranger, the bubble gun's kind of better than the Toxic Bell. Because it's just... Well, this is 80 damage per bubble. It's a lot fewer bubbles, though. They do go further. Okay, let's equip ourselves as a mage. And we also get the Shrimpy Truffle, which um, I think this is the earliest you can get an infinite flight mount. So that's nice. But I won't be keeping it equipped. Um, the Slimy Saddle's like the only mount that's good in combat. Uh, maybe I'll put it in the piggy bank or something. And of course end up with a lot of these in the piggy bank. If I'm ganking Duke Fish Run. Alright, we need to re-roll this thing first of all. I think it's relatively cheap. For what it does, it is extremely cheap to re-roll. Godly? I've got six plat. Should I be greedier? I think so. Every little bit of advantage against Duke. Masterful? It's basically just godly. Let's go for mythical. Mystic is kind of a weak version of mythical. Demonic is okay. Masterful, again. Um, that's half my gold. I think we'll stick with that. Godly would have been better. I don't really care about the mana cost. Whoops. Is the green dude done? Did I miss him? We've killed him once. We need to kill him a bunch of times to get the stuff that we need from him. We do have one very high DPS weapon that we got from him. But... It's not going to be good against every boss. It's very good against him because he chases us. Alright, where should I put the Duke Fish Run Relic? Normally I don't care too much for these things, but like... I have never fought so hard to kill a Terraria boss before. Well, maybe in Calamity, but Calamity's not fair. And neither is this boss. Although we managed to reduce the unfairness until we finally got him. I kind of want this just looking like it's hanging in the air. Um, and maybe a little bit lower. Could we get some gold paint? Where's the painter? That's a good question. There he is. I don't know if I've ever seen gold paint before. There's yellow paint, but I don't know if it's going to sparkle. But maybe it won't be noticeable. That's decent, right? I 
Maybe we could do better. Not too worried about it right now. Um, what should I go for mage set? Believe it or not, the best DPS set for mage that I've got still is media. Um, if I were to make... And I couldn't really do this, but I think titanium is a higher tier than adamantite. If I were to make a mage set out of... Oh, come to think of it. Wasn't I thinking about making a mage set out of hallowed armor? Normally I would kill Duke before we have hallowed. But let's see. The damage isn't as good with this set, but you get one free hit. Like, you take zero damage from one hit about every 30 seconds. You get a buff that lasts 30 seconds. Um that negates a hit after you deal damage. Holy Triangle, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 36 plus 18 is 54. How much hallowed bar did I have? Uh, 55. We've got just enough to make a set. That's probably the way to go, honestly. If it was still pre-mech bosses, I would... Let's compare. Titanium... Oh, I need to know the set bonuses is the thing. Well, look at the wiki or take my word for it. Uh, you actually get higher damage out of the media set. The only trouble is, especially on this seed, you might get one shot. But that's um, that's happening anyway, you know? But yeah, I think we'll make, if we can, the Hallowed Mage set. Hallowed Headgear, Hallowed Plate Mail, and Hallowed Greaves. And that's going to bump up our 95 magic damage to 111. Plus 19% crit? Really? 7% increased damage for all weapons. Bit of movement speed. But by far the... Oh, and we also get max mana. By far the reason to use hallowed armor is the free hit. Let's put the Frost Armor away. Maybe I should have been using that the whole time. The Hallowed Gear. I didn't realize I had enough. Uh, but yeah, let's go for Mage Damage. Now we're up to 126. Um, and we're going to add a couple more buffs to the mix. Namely, Magic Power Potion and Mana Regen, although the Regen during a boss fight isn't going to be too relevant. Oh, and we absolutely need um, something to automatically consume our Mana Potions. Question is, what do I swap out? I mean, technically, you can manually consume the Mana Potions, but... That's one extra thing to do while fighting the boss. But also, you will actually deal a bit less damage. Because of the reduced mana cost, you'll be consuming mana potions less often. And the mana potions briefly reduce your deep, uh, magic damage. Just to be sure, I should probably get even more mana potions. They're actually relatively cheap. Oh wow, that's more than I thought. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm just going to sell the paintbrush, because it's not worth the headache of remembering where it is. And... 
I'm going to update the title as well. All right. Toxic Carp can probably go here. And then... Should I swap out the Obsidian Shield? I can easily see myself dying effectively in one hit to what should have been survivable. I think the regen is as much as it's not bad at all, uh, it's probably the weakest. Where did I put my did what what what? Where did I put my mana Auto mana consumer thing. Is it in here? No. I can easily see T Hex dying as well. Oh no. Does anyone know? Does anyone know where that accessory went? Did I end up putting it back here or something? Or here? No? Why on earth? Do, did I have more than one somewhere? Did I quick stack it? I don't think I had more than one. Quick stack is the only thing I can think of. Oh, here it is. There it is. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't mind trying to re-roll this to get Menacing as well. That's not the re-roll guy. I got another warding. Lucky, I probably should have stuck with... I guess I will. 4% more crit. Bumping us up to 29%. There's like a critical, no, no pun intended, but there's a critical mass of critical hit chance where it actually starts being worth it to stack it. Um, so we've got Menacing Sorcerer Emblem, Menacing Shield, Warding Boots, Warding Obsidian Shield, Lucky Magnet Flower, Menacing Horseshoe Balloon. And forever on the angry frozen wings. This only lasts four minutes. Well, it's easily replaced. Magic power Prashon. And I think we're ready. I think also if this thing blocks a shot uh, from damaging you, you don't take the knockback either. So maybe the obsidian shield isn't as important. I think it's probably more important than the regen. Okay, what time is it? 12 a.m. Maybe we should wait until it's a little bit lighter. Maybe I should gank some enemies with the bubble gun. Yeah, let's uh let's take it for a test drive for a few minutes. In our usual hunting ground. And you're done. Maybe see how it does against the 
mushroom biome. I don't need to constantly farm first flame anymore. Oh, hey, it's Skelly. I will take the cursed flame when it's offered. Another magic quiver. This is fine. The bubbles are going to be very good at blocking, like even better than the Oxycarp. They're going to be better at blocking bats and projectiles that can be shut down and stuff. We've pretty much everything for that matter. I do need to start farming Duke now that we're going to be able to kill him a lot more easily. Because the fight is going to last a lot less time. Look at that. It's beautiful. The only thing I dislike a little bit is the Mega Shark is going to become obsolete. And we're not going to have a decent, like, ranged, uh, bullet based auto fire weapon for quite a while. And that's kind of my favorite. Obviously, this is still a bit dangerous, but as you can see. <laughs> Much, much easier to survive here now. Because we're simply able to delete everything. And much, much easier to... Oh. Farm truffle worms, he says, as he fails to farm truffle worms. few more truffle worms without really even trying. And it's just about morning. Stack this away. I think the magic quiver down here is here actually. Oh, we already have a molten quiver as well. So we can stack specifically arrow damage twice, as if we had that many accessory slots to spare. Alright, I think I'm ready. Ready perfectly. Oh, but first... Since we're playing mage... That's not where I wanted to go. Not that. <laughs> don't don't take off my armor. That would be bad. Put the ninja gear in here. And I don't think the cape is really working with this. Oh yeah, that's one thing I don't like about this armor. This is the visual effect to show that you could take a hit without actually taking damage. It's kind of, um... It makes me blink and squint, I'll put it that way. Cool, cool, cool. We are officially a mage now. What about some shiny... Shiny die. Phase die? Shadow flame Hades die. This is a bit much. I think the Grim Die was actually kind of good. Let's go with that. All 
Alright. As long as we don't miss step too early, time to delete Duke Fish Run. About ten times easier than it was last time. Look at that health bar go. Look at those bubbles go. Come to think of it, um, if you were going to manually consume mana potions, this would be one of the weapons to do it with because the cost is so low. We're already at the halfway point. I haven't had to even see a tornado yet. Maybe there was one in the corner of my eye earlier. And that'll be... oh my goodness. Holy... Hey, look at our health. It's 100%. Isn't that nice? Our load set kind of good, actually. And we can delete those sharks with the bubbles as well. One, two, one, two, three. Omai wa mo shinderu. There we go. I take it back. That was a hundred times easier. What do we get? Tsunami. We've already got the best two damage items in the game for a very long time. Easy clap, one, two, three, indeed. Let's try and get the wings now. And the summon would be nice as well. That's the best summon we're going to have for a long time. Or I could use the massive DPS that I now possess to delete uh, Dread Nautilus. Did it just kill, like, all of the sharks in the Nados? The bubbles did, before they got flung around? Uh-oh. Oh yeah, I didn't take damage. Because Hallowed Armor. Just for the novelty of it, I do like to kill Duke Fish Run before any of the mechanical bosses. And then you can absolutely annihilate them. Uh, and again, it is very possible with... Grab potion, please. One, two, three. Okay. One. One, two. One... Two, three, one, one. There we go. We farming him now. And we get Razor Blade Typhoon. Um also one of the best damage attacks you can have in the game for a very long time to come. And probably the easiest spell to use in almost any situation. Let's get it reforged. I think the bubbles are actually better at killing Tuke, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I caught a, fifth, I caught a hare alive. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I let him go again. Indeed. I caught a fish not so alive. What are we reforging? Razor blade. Incredibly cheap to reforge this for how good it is. We're definitely taking these two to mythical, especially Razor Blade. Unpleasant, not very good. There it is, mythical. Mythical Razor Blade Typhoon. 
Let's see how it handles. Why are we pumping water? Why are we pumping water? What the hell? Did you just step out through the door? My dude. That... Wet beard. Well, that solves that mystery. So, for reference, when we were hitting all of our shots, our DPS with um, the Mega Shark was about 500. This is peaking at about 1500, depending on positioning and stuff. And I don't even have to aim. I do think the bubbles are going to be doing more, though. Yep, yep, yep. It's not even close. Like, obviously they're not dealing max damage all the time. Um, but suffice to say... Bubbles for the win. And we don't need any special ammo. To make the most of this. That's one of the great things about Mage, compared to Ranger. No farming. No farming for ammo. You do eventually get to buy, uh, what was it? Venom makes probably the most powerful arrows. One, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, there it goes. Hey, there's a, there's a very brave harpy. All right, what do we get? We got some better wings. Not the wings I'm looking for. We got another Typhoon. Okay. Uh, what's our flight height? If I just hold space, we get up to... 709? Uh-oh. That was a little spooky. Uh, and if I put on this thing that also gives me 1% more damage... It's a little bit higher. It's like 20 or 30 higher. Cool, cool, cool. I'll use these until I get the fish run wings. Let's kill him while we've still got buffs. That's our last worm for a little bit, though. Halfway there. You can hear very clearly if you're hitting him as well. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, he's doing his final phase already. One, two, three, it looks like. No, that's two. Two, three. One, one, two. I don't really need the craft potion this time, I think. I thought I died. <laughs> For just a split second, I thought it was me who had died there, because his body was all over me. We get... A mask? Another Razorblade Typhoon. Yeah, getting the wings can be a bit grindy. 
Spiders don't count, there's one pattern for them all. Do you know what I love about Factorio? That I don't have to dodge trains in specific pattern, which changes every train. <laughs> I mean, it could probably be arranged, right? Me Factorio project, build randomly... Build super fast trains, like in K2SE with the space train mods and then have them randomly move around just for Veldak. Uh, I need some more truffle worms. Oh, there's one. Thank you. Yeah, I think we've arrived. I think the game gets a little bit easier from this point. At least for quite a while. Actually, this is vanilla, so... The Duke Fish Run stuff never stops being decent. Feel the universe quake before my approach. Even the gods know my name. Alright, what's that? Six truffle worms. Make it seven. And go kill some dukes. Imagine you walk by tracks, train is riding around, and suddenly it starts chasing you around. <laughs> uh, you've probably seen it, Veldak, but let me at least remind you. Look up Skyrim Thomas the Tank Engine Dragon Mod or something like that. Sadly, the legal cringe lords did a takedown, so... I don't know... I don't know where to look for a mod on, like, the black market, but that's that's what you'd have to do. We're already halfway. Probably better to use Tsunami in that situation, even if... Even if I'm not spec for Ranger. I don't think the Razor Blades are actually dealing much damage in that situation. One, two, probably? One, two, three. One. One, two. One, two, three. One. There we go. I actually dodged away from him to get more damage on that time. Alright. We get... Another bubble gun. This could take a while. Survival horror, <laughs> indeed. Store.steampowered... Choo... 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 Charles? What? What am I looking at? Oh my god. <laughs> Beautiful. This is this is what art is truly about.
you know, I remembered it being victory laps once we've got a good Duke DPS weapon. Um, but I thought I was either misremembering it a bit or being a bit overconfident or that for the worthy it'd be a little bit harder. But no, this is... This is just a relaxing stroll in the park. It really is. my free hit because I forgot to check my buffs. Within 30 seconds I'll be able to take a hit again. Free. Assuming he lives that long. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Okay. Two... One, two, three. One, one, two. That final phase could not have been more severe, but we're strong enough to to power through it anyway. Uh, what is this? More rare. Um, more rare wings and stuff. Let's turn this buff off. Oh, wait, wait, where is it? Holy protection. Get out of here. I think this one lets you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a bad hoverboard now. If I hold uh, jump slash fly and down, I can hover. But it doesn't have the very fast horizontal acceleration uh, like the the actual hoverboard or the thing, the star thing that you get from, uh, from the Moon Lord. Um, but yeah, once again, no wings. It's gonna be a minute before we lock out and get those, I think. Reckless Knight? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this a tiara? Yeah, something like that. All right, one more before we go. Travis running out in 40 seconds. Oh, poor dolphin or whatever that was. Turtle, maybe. Uh, actually, the... Cosmetic wings that I just put on are kind of distracting. Halfway there. I'm gonna try... to be more deliberate in the final phase. To dodge away from him when I can, in order to make him run through more bubbles. Here we go. Not quite. Here we go. One, two, I think. One, two, that's bad. Three. One. One, two. One, two, dodge away. Three. Fantastic. Give me that stuff. Oi, 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 oi.
pretty rude. Alright, big money, big money. We got another bubble gun. Unfortunate. Well, I might kill Duke 70,000 times off screen uh, until I finally get the fish run wings. Which are kind of special. They're not that amazing, they just basically they give you a constant flipper potion. So you can always through the uh, always move through the water like this. Actually, I think they make you move like super fast, like a like when you turn into a merman. But yeah, that is Duke, well and truly buried. Um, let's so next week we're obviously going to be on. Kind of the, I, I almost want to say the victory lap portion of the run. Uh, Plantera can still be a big problem. Especially depending on how much of the crimson, how much of the jungle has been eaten by crimson. Because we need kind of a natural arena to make the most of it. It doesn't take that much space to beat... Uh, Plantera, Plantera with relative ease, but without building an arena, the the seed isn't too likely to offer you, the map gen isn't too likely to offer you many spaces like that. Uh, let's see. Entering hard mode... Who should I raid today? Master mode melee? Sure. Let me just check that quality is okay and we can chat there and stuff. Followers only chat. I think not. Mr. Dave or Intertooth? Uh, or Mr. Dane. Maybe. If I don't see something close enough to what I was doing with Terraria. Zenith Seed Legendary Hardcore. Yikes. Spooky. Um... You know what? Yeah, I can't really see anything. Let's go for Mr. Dane. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any, uh, for Factorio that is. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. Thanks for the stream, thanks for hanging out, Felda, and everyone else. And Reckless Knight, take care as well. Uh, maybe I need to get the iron here and put the lights somewhere.